Hi, I'm Jeff Fear, part of the M Performance team here at Hyundai Australia. Today we're going to have a look at the i30 Fastback N engine. The engine's a carryover for 2 litre turbo from the original hatchback i30N. We had quite a lot of questions about the, uh, the 2 litre engine during our last tech talk for the hatchback, so today we're going to go a little bit deeper into the engine and tell you a few more of the uh, specialist components that's just for the i30N. Some of the key components for the i30N 2 litre engine are the inlet manifold, the turbo assembly, air intake system. So the inlet manifold we'll start with. It's actually been selected for its thermal efficiency. We tested, or the, the high performance team tested, various inlet manifolds from aluminium and a few different shapes and style of the, the plastic manifold you see here now. And it was actually found that the plastic manifold held the air intake temperature down longer over a, over a uh, durability test. So if, say, for instance, a, a 10 lap circuit race or 10 lap sprint, we found that the inlet manifold was over 20 degrees cooler consistent over the whole time. Whereas with an aluminium manifold, the temperature just kept coming up and up and up. And by the end of the 10 laps, it was plus 20 odd degrees hotter. So it's actually designed just for its thermal efficiency. Turbo assembly on the i30N has been selected for ultimate throttle response. So the, the car has a characteristics of a normally aspirated car. In that I mean, it has very little turbo lag. So idles around 750, 800 RPM. Turbo starts boosting at 1450 RPM. It has peak boost at 1750 RPM. Peak boost is 1.1 bar. So it has an overboost function in end mode and goes to 1.2 bar for up to 18 seconds. Turbo on the i30N has been chosen for ultimate throttle response. The size of the exhaust housing, the exhaust manifold which is incorporated on the i30N's turbo is all about throttle response, boost control. The ratio of the, the front compressor wheel to the exhaust wheel, everything has been all about throttle response. It's not about maximum horsepower because you can always make a lot more horsepower in an engine with a bigger turbo, but the trouble with doing that is you have no throttle response. To make this car so exciting on the circuit or on the street, daily driving, so the throttle response of the turbo has been tuned for the feel of a naturally aspirated car, which is instantaneous. So the, the exhilaration of getting off the brake back into the throttle and the punch out of corners is what this car really excels at. Another key component in the engine bay of the i30N is actually the air intake system. From below these shrouds, there's actually an, an air duct that feeds in cool air separated from the radiator so it's kept apart. So it's only getting the cool air into the air box. The air box is actually tuned in volume for the capacity of the engine, for the boost that the engine runs right through to the intake of the turbo. So it is actually a tuned air intake system. It's not just something to do the job. One of the other key components on the i30N engine is actually the pistons. The pistons are uniquely developed just for this engine for the ultimate compression ratio and boost levels that we're running. The two litre engine in the i30N has been proven over and over for durability. More recently for us in the Target Tasmania car that we ran, it did over 2,000 kilometres in six days of competition and transport. This is a off-the-shelf engine in there. No major changes. Durability has never been a problem. It ran faultlessly. So the i30N utilises a high-performance 275 horsepower engine, but you have to remember, in the long run, it is a street car. It's a street car designed to do track work as well, and it has to be durable. And with being a Hyundai, it has no problem meeting that.